And hello, world. What is up? Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte. We are here live at the Build Studio in New York City. Officially announced only a few short hours ago, Max, Val, Pita, and Jenna, the hottest stars from ABC's Dancing with the Stars, are embarking all across the U.S. for their 57-stop motion picture tour. Uh, they've put together an incredible new show inspired by some of the most iconic moments in cinematic history. Pre-sale for fans starts today with general ticket sales launching this Friday. Joining me now to tell us all about the tour, please welcome the great Max Tchaikovsky and Peter Murgatroyd. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the show. Hi, thank you. It's so great to have you guys on once again. Great to have you here together. Uh, congrats. Huge day. Big day for you. Big day. Very exciting, Big. right? <laughs> yeah, so you guys, you've been teasing for a little while. Something is coming. To, you know, and like today, the, it has arrived. It is here. How exciting is it to finally share this new show and tell people this is happening? And like It's so exciting. I mean, we've been talking amongst ourselves and thinking about this and pondering ideas for this show for months and months and months now. And to bring Jenna on board as the new um, face, she's obviously Val's wife. Um, it's just like the perfect addition. And it's just going to be great to go out as a family together and really um, have that family unit on tour. So it's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff in there to unpack and talk about. Uh, you talk about how you've been uh, discussing this and planning it forever now. Uh, when, when did it begin? How did it start? Where did the idea come from? When did we decide movies? Let's do movies. Yeah. We... Um, <laughs> My brother and I started Max and Val tour in 2016. It was the first installment. We kind of didn't think it was going to take off. Uh, we thought, it's, thank God, we have a stage and, and a tour and opportunity. And, you know, the, the, the two immigrant dance brothers, you know, tour in America. I mean, that's what dreams are made of. Um, two years later, it was an MVP tour. We brought Peter along, and, and it was amazing. We had a great experience being on the road. Again, Peter and I are you know, married and, and had, a, had a child already, so our son was with us. He was a year and a couple of months, um, and it was an incredible, special experience. Val is now married. Yeah. He's also married to a professional dancer who is, in her own right, a superstar. To have this be the two, then went to three, then now is the four, is just a natural progression. My OCD kicked in, and this is definitely something we're pondering for a long time. But yeah. I think just overall, the opportunities that we are presented with is, is what's most special, yeah. is the fact that we do get to do it with our wives, yeah. is the fact that our wives are, again, they just make it better. So it's not something that I like, <laughs> I'm gonna have to dance I mean, with my wife on this one. You know what I mean? It's like, like that, at but. this point, I'm, I'm, we're blessed that we have these yeah. partners to also, you know, spend a lifetime of dance, if you will, together. This show is special because we got together as four professionals uh, who have great careers uh, sing individually, and we got together like that as well. Aside from just being a family, you know, the caliber of talent on that stage is, speaks for itself. What can we do that's different? And, uh, you know, has a twist. And that's exactly what we're putting together with this tour. We decided to add movies yeah. as the medium that everyone draws inspiration from, including us. You because know, we the first two were very autobiographical. Very personal. Yeah, very more personal. More about your, your story and yes. your journey, which was amazing. We're going to keep so it. We're going to keep it within the same uh, realm, but what we decided is, you know, what inspired us. We look back, well, in movies. I mean, this is very sort of universal. There, there are a lot of inspiration in those films. Uh, you certainly looking at at at, at incredible acting opportunities. Uh, we wanted to continue the narrative, continue attaching personal, but use an other way of storytelling. Mm -hmm. And just to give a sort of synopsis, is like, what if um, we're taking iconic scenes uh, in movies that have no dance yeah. historically. And so, like, what would that Godfather scene look like had it been, you know, told through that? <laughs> and that's one of the most exciting parts, I think, about this new show is that when people see, oh, it's movies inspired, so they're going to do the dance from Dirty Dancing, or they're going to do, like, the, the, no. the, the obvious things yeah. you're going to recreate, but that's not what's happening. You found iconic moments, and you've... Uh, put them through this lens and created all these whole new pieces and this new way to tell the story. How much fun was it sitting down and coming up with the list of the iconic moments? Like, I'm sure, if, let's say, ballpark, there's like 15 or 20 or 30, but like the list must have been like 100. Like, how, how, how much fun was that? I mean, that's what, that again, it takes a village, right? Okay. So, so for us, we, we're bringing back the same creative side, uh, creative team as well. And, and 
you know, part of what was a, a response for the last two tours is that the soundtrack has been something people would walk away and like, yes, you guys danced amazing, but that soundtrack, the the the, the, yeah. the playlist. And so we're looking at these, this opportunity of, of similar opportunities, not you're not only going to walk out with the soundtrack in your mind subliminally, but you're also going to walk away having gone through a journey of that movie was great. And it's not that on the nose sort of like inspirational film, but like, you know, Val keeps bringing up when Harry met Sally, you know what I mean? Like things of that, Dumb and Dumber. I mean, what well, Val and I can recite it, but... Wait, is there a Dumb and Dumber mm -hmm. dance in the show or is that spoiling? We don't want to spoil anything. Uh, I don't it might know be spoiling. It might be spoiling. <laughs> No, it's going to be fun to play characters too, you know, like a Marilyn Monroe, you know, an Audrey Hepburn type thing. Um, it's not going to be just old movies. It's modern movies as well. So it's going to be um, a great mixture of things. Did you guys do a movie night? All four of you get together? Big TV? Watch movie a bunch night. Of movies, just watch a bunch of movies? <laughs> they, you do fight night. <laughs> fight night. <laughs> with, the, with the boy stuff. But no, I, boy stuff. I think that's another, co you know, component of, you know, people are going to be looking and going, tour great performers touring together uh but the 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 i guess the deeper uh, meaning for us four is that we're a family yeah. touring together getting this opportunity you know looking back at it 20 years from now we're going to say that actually happened yeah. and how many siblings that go through life uh get to have this opportunity how many married couples get to be on the on that stage the same way i mean we we pretty much you know we're pretty similar couples i mean we found each other on the same show and this you know and 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 now we're here so you know there's just so many angles to this that are just brilliant and and how life put us together to end up here it's just incredible does that make the 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 choreography for the learning and all the, the creative process does it make it easier uh because you have almost uh, on top of being professionals but you have this other language that's just it it could be easier but sometimes you're way too comfortable with each other because your husband and wife yeah. so it could be challenging what's it been like find finding that and navigating that together i think you have to have a, a good balance number one with um you know when we're in the studio we are dancing partners you know when we leave the studio we are husband and wife and that's like kind of like our rule that you know when we're choreographing if we butt heads on a move or something like that then we're going we're to figure it out and we're not going to bring you know the personal you don't stuff take into that it home. yeah, yeah. And, and vice it's, versa yeah that's our work you know um but there's so many amazing moments too because we know each other so well and we've been on dancing with the stars together with each other for a long time now so we know each other individually. Like I knew Val before we were together. Like we were friends before we were friends. So it was, there's a lot of stuff that's like a positive about it. But yes, there's definitely like the, the times where we're going to butt heads. You, yeah. you have to, you have it's, to figure it out. You know, there's four yeah. of us. We're four, all four have an opinion about the same thing that we're all doing. So it's not, you know, it's, it's driven by what you bring to the table. And, and <laughs> we have... A mediator, for sure, on site. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah we have a... You guys, this is your first uh, tour, all four of you together. You've gone on trips together. You've done stuff together before. So you know the dynamic, right? You've Not really. Really? We haven't done like a vacation or oh, trip this is like be anything. So, to, like the yeah. four of us, because yeah. Jenna's kind of not just come on board, but, you know, we have all been on tour together and now... Adding Jenner is going to be like a different dynamic. It's going to be great. There's also been, you know, this has been our, our life last 15 years for me, last 10 years for Val and, and Peter, some, a little bit less for Jenna, but this has been our life. We've been sharing the set of uh, Dancing with the Stars. We've been sharing the rehearsal space or, or touring together. Val has been touring for the last, what seems like 100 years. He's on the bus, so it's just nonstop. You know, so we, we have these dynamics. We have these relationships. I have a relationship with Jenna that has nothing to do with Val and yeah. vice versa. Peter and Val, uh, as she said, they, you know, they toured together before we were dating. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. It's also very interesting to, like, like Peter mentioned, to work through when, you know, you draw that line. And yes, we had that, whatever that was, about something to do with, with, with our son. Right. But, but now we have this and this is special and important and it needs to be taken as such and I think we're all responsible at the same time.
It's a little, obviously, it's family affair. Everybody's going this summer. The whole family's going. Little one's going to be there. Yeah. Is uh, he in the show at all? Is he dancing yet? Is he, has a bug bitten him or is it still too soon? Is I it think it's still too soon <laughs> for the dancing. Like, yeah. he loves to get up and move. But, right. I mean, he's not, like, oh, doing the cha-cha yet. Um, <laughs> but he loves to sing. He loves music. You know, his his favorite thing to do is say, Alexa, play Pitbull. Um <laughs> He, you know, what it what is. Um, he loves Gangnam Style, likes all the fun Gangnam songs. Style. He likes he likes yeah. Pitbull, uh, Fireball, and and when <laughs> and did that part where like everybody get down now, everybody get down now. The whole house has to be on the floor. Like he makes laying everybody on the floor. get down, and it's so cute. But he runs the party. Yeah. yeah. We're thrilled to have, We're thrilled. have like, uh, him. We wouldn't leave without him, obviously. He's there. He's got his crib on the bus. He's with us. We had him there um, two years ago. 2018. When he a, year, a year. And now he's three and he's a different human. And it's going to be a, a different ball game. You know, we're just talking about how he's in school five days a week back in L.A. So on the road for nine weeks, we're going to have to keep that up. Like, we're going to have to find classes for him. We have a nanny, of course, on board. Um, but there's, it's going to be a different scheduling process. So. This, is, this is when you, like, you realize <laughs> it's not just about you learning choreography and taking your stuff and going on tour. It's about learning choreography, taking your stuff, pre-planning where your three-year-old is going to go for the next 53 cities. <laughs> now, is, it that's... Almost, is it harder uh, as, as, as he's getting older? Because there's so much more to consider when, when he was so tiny, just make sure the crib and keep him alive, eating and pooping. That's it. That's all we got to worry about. Absolutely. But now he's like a, he's a little person. He's got a whole personality. He's learning things. He loves things. He wants to do stuff. He doesn't want to. So yeah. it's, is it harder Is it to, to keep him happy and keep things moving? I think it's definitely going to be harder, yeah. I feel like it's – we miss the terrible twos. I think that he was – an incredible two-year-old, and now it's yeah. creeping in. It's the terrible threes are starting to come. So, right. um, not in a bad way, but right. just you know, it's the, I have an I have an opinion <laughs> three. You know, it's the mama. I don't want to do that three. Yeah, exactly. That, just he's very so opinionated. Well, he's things. like this one. They're the same <laughs> month. I just I was, I was hoping he'd have the looks and the personality, <laughs> but. No. He has the looks and the personality. You know, so. <laughs> Still figuring it all out. It's all coming together. Uh, I've always, I'm always fascinated by the, the, not to go too far back, but the creative process and talking about the choreography and so on and so forth. I've, I've interviewed a million musicians who, uh, you know, oh, we send back and forth garage band tracks, or I'll take a voice memo and something like that, and I'll save it for later. How do you guys, as dancers, it, it is the only time for you to create when you're in the studio? What if you have an idea or an inspiration while you're walking around? How does that part of the process work for you guys? I mean, we're, we're, we're fortunate that this is something that we do all the time. You know, it's not the only job that we have this upcoming tour. And our life is that. It's the be, the creative process behind whatever job's coming up. Um, I, we call them job, but, you know, it's, it's all different. Yeah. Um, the idea, you know, is that the world is a creative space right now on its own. So wherever you go... You know, I, I take a picture of a building that I find interesting, and that could lead to an idea. I mean, everything leads to an idea. For 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 ladies, I think, you know, color materials like they they they, you know, characters that we that we can identify with. Don't you know. forget what we did on Dancing with the Stars for so many years. It's going into season twenty nine, and and the, these two, these this foursome right here. That like we've done this for so long and so well. This. What is it? Two, four, six mirror balls yeah. between the four. Of, Doesn't matter how they yeah. split, but there's just six mirror <laughs> balls. In there. The point is that we, that's what we do. We get a piece of music. We get our partner. We have Monday night coming next week. Here's your dance style. Go create. Yeah. And so for the next week, we create for our celebrity partner a standalone piece yeah. that they go back. And depending on what they've done, how we, how professional we were in that process, they go back, they look back and look, I did that. The, the, in my history, I was an actress, I was a musician, I was a sports star, but I also did that cha-cha and look at that piece. And so that's how responsible we've become. These people only have this opportunity one time, and we are now taking those 10,000 hours and applying it to, to whatever we do creatively. Is it uh, extra fun and exciting? Because when you're com when you're working on Dancing with the Stars, you have to keep in mind sort of you want to push your partner, but you have to keep in mind their limitations as well. Uh, you have a completely different set of, of skills and limitations here, almost limitless. You, you don't push this partner. Uh, well, I was gonna say <laughs> you keep up. You keep up with this partner. Right. That's 
You know, how does that work? It's a different level of choreography at that point. And it's got to be one, like, fun to let that go and, and sort of embrace everything. But how do you push each other? I was going to say rule one is <laughs> don't tell her what to do. What? Uh, just, stop just, that is just so keep it, not keep, the keep, case keep it right here <laughs> no i think yes we are very very limited on dancing with the stars we we have to do what they're capable of so when we do get the opportunity to be professional dancers and be at our own levels um we really try to push ourselves like yeah. this tour especially it's got to be the biggest the greatest that we've done so i think that we will ultimately push ourselves to the limit and you know he's 40 just turned love that the four zero looking great. I'm 33. I think this is, you know, this is the time. It's gotta, it's gotta be the greatest. The fact that we are all inspired by each other is a big deal too, and it's definitely gonna show. How do you? All right, to that end, you're pushing yourselves to the limit. You're, you're going farther than you ever have. Biggest show you've ever done. How do you make sure that you guys are keeping the machine running? That you're taking care of yourselves. What, are, what are good like self care practices? What are tricks, things so you're doing, many. routines? Oh, my gosh. Stretching I mean, is a big one. Stretching, warming up, obviously. We have so many devices to get our muscles warm. Um, you love those. I mean... What are they called? Those? Every, <laughs> what are they, what's the machine called? Oh, the the Theraguns. Yeah, Theraguns. no, but like, it, look, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a geek when it comes to, um, you know, general overall rehab and, you know, keeping your body in a certain place. That there was a moment when I looked around and I realized I have about 10 years on literally everybody here. And, and so that was the moment when I thought I need to stick around. Like I need to keep it up. Like this, there's got to be a way to keep oiling this machine. And so that's what I've been sort of focused on for a long time. I'm uh, packaging it into something that I will come out with and say, here, do that. Yeah. And you'll also have these results. So, you know, for me, this opportunities like this tour are, you know, multi-angular, if you will. You know, one of the things is that I'm proving to myself that this 40 is just a number. And although I don't know a 40-year-old that does what I do, <laughs> you know, let, let me be the, let me, be the me, the, 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 the one, you know, and... But Peter is correct. We, this is opportunities that may not come, you know, often if ever again. Um, do your best. Don't ever take it for granted. We're uh, in just a second. We got a, a question from from Twitter that we're going to take. But Peter, you were here almost a year to the day. Actually, I was looking it up. Really? It's super close. You were here like it was like the fifth when you were here last year, oh and it's God. the ninth now. But okay. uh, nice. so so almost a year to the day. But it was to talk about faith, uh, hope, and love, the film that you starred in. Yeah. As an and actress, uh, as, yeah. <laughs> and I, I was <laughs> curious at the time when you were here. Uh, you know, a big part of the conversation was how being a dancer sort of informed being an actor. And I'm, yeah. you know, now that you have that experience under your belt, you got to star in this film. Has that changed? or colored how you approach dancing at all coming out of that set and coming back to this world I think it definitely gave me some amazing tools to learn um, because I was so new to the acting world I had to kind of start from scratch and I had to learn the basics like super quick within two weeks and um, yes I definitely have some techniques under my belt now to add to a character's depth um, and to try and identify with somebody who I don't have the same life as. Do you know what I mean? So she has amazing auditions as like a drug addict. <laughs> this one. I've been You'd doing be some surprised. crazy auditions lately. That um, sounds amazing. But they're <laughs> fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, you know, if I'm going to play, I don't know, Marilyn Monroe, this tour, something like that, exactly. I'm going to really look at all her movies, you know, and, and see what she's like and look at her scripts and um, really dive into that to yeah. be better. Um, but yeah. Interesting yes. process. But, cool. but but quickly, I just have to fangirl over, over the wife here for a second. But, you know, I was shocked that the movie went to a premiere. It was all cute. And, you know, I'm, I'm in it for a split second. So I saw the process. <laughs> so you had to go. Right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I had to go. Had you know, to go. just yeah. the, yeah. the star. Um, <laughs> but... No, it was interesting to see the process, to see a professional performer, you know, transition um, and, 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 and go through that. Um, we showed up to a premiere. I remember she was wearing bright white dress. And I was like, babe, I don't, I don't know. What if, what if it sucks? Are you sure? And we're like smack in the middle. Like, if you want to escape, this is not going to be escaping. You're going to have to crouch. Everybody sees you move out. Um, movie started, and it was amazing. And it was, you know, it, it, again, it's not a blockbuster, anything, but the, the the watching Peter do what she did was incredible, and I was just so proud. <laughs> I was yeah. like, 
a shoe. Certainly, it, did, it did not suck. It was, it was a very sweet, was cute, independent. Yeah, film. it's so, very, very. Yeah. Cute. It's on Netflix. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting response. We didn't out like even a know. A couple of months ago to Netflix, no it was. Cool. And all of a sudden, I'm getting these texts. Peter's amazing. And it was movie. trending on the spiritual. Oh, wow. genre yeah that's amazing and that's always crazy so right? it's you don't cool. realize that it pops up and then all of a sudden it's back in your life again yeah right? people I know. Are texting you about it i know people things. still text me about this movie and i'm like guys this was three years ago it's amazing three years ago it's amazing that it was three years ago i can't believe oh, it nearly nearly yeah. something like that but anyway. no amazing experiences again we're just we're just blessed and lucky with all these opportunities um yeah. you know again <laughs> in our time and Things that happen around to be able to do things like this is, is just great. Uh, we also just, again, just really quickly about this tour is that, that the idea is that we, we, we also want to give back. You know, like we do benefit a lot from being watched and followed and, and having this life. You know, it's a twofold. This is a relationship not just with us but also with the audience. There's a, there's a component of a live entertainment that is special to us and our type of performer. That interaction will never be replaced by by a camera, and uh, and it is special. Again, for me personally, it's maybe my last. You know, 57 cities is a lot, a lot. Yeah. so you know, I'm we really you know put, I'm putting all of this effort. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's out there. Well, it starts off uh, I believe in June, June 11th. June you guys 11th, kick off, yeah. right? And then you run through to August, and you've got 57 dates in there in between. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, pre-sale starts right now. Fan pre-sale, American Express pre-sale. You can get tickets today. Uh, and then general uh, tickets are available starting on Friday. All right, before we get out of here, we got one question from Twitter out there. This is from Edward is the man. No argument here. Oh, uh, Peter, who is a better dancer? Oi. Edward is not the been. man, Edward. <laughs> um, I get asked this. I haven't been asked this for a while. Um, they're honestly completely different dancers, and it's very hard to make this judgment um, call. But I, I can make say, this judgment call quick. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know. You're, like, older than Val, so maybe he's, like, a little more technical right now. But you're like the ultimate entertainer, so and you taught ev Val everything he knows. So the foundation know. was definitely laid by this guy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But you know, my answer is that is that, and I can say it. And if he was sitting here, he'd he'd you know attest to it. But I've always been of a of a <laughs> of a thought process that a a student must supersede the teacher. It just has to happen, and then the, there's pride in it on, on both sides. I'm very proud of Val. I'm proud of the fact that it's under my coaching that he has two world titles. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, uh, yeah. uh, under not my coaching, he has more mirrorballs than I do. But that's, you know, we're not going to talk <laughs> about that. Can't escape. Peter called you the ultimate entertainer. That's a pretty tall order. That's pretty nice. That's a great compliment. That's a great compliment. <laughs> I, just, I, just uh, got, I just got inches in height and just shoulder width. That's all yeah. the difference. <laughs> There's a little bit more than that, but yeah, that's part of it. Uh, all right, head over to maxandvaltour.com for all the dates and get your tickets uh, uh, and everything. Uh, anything else you want to plug before we get out of here? The tour is what it's all about right now. It's all oh, about yeah. The tour. Oh, yeah. No, the tour is yeah. it. And uh, I just want to plug that this, as we have introduced and kept it as a tradition. Uh, one of the elements of the show is the audience participation. That's something that people have been asking now that this is announced. Is this coming back? Yes. yes way. Somebody's going to get, you know, a lap dance. And, and, and dipped and spun and twirled. How do you not buy a ticket after that? All right, yeah. so go ahead. Uh, thanks, to, uh, thanks to Edward for that question, and thanks to everyone that tuned thanks, in out there. Thanks, Edward. Uh, and again, hit up the website, get the dates and tickets, maxandvaltour.com. Uh, everybody do me a favor out there in uh, the internet land. Make a lot of noise wherever you are, and join me in thanking Max and Peter for being here. Thank you guys so much. Thank for you so much. Pleasure, yeah.